Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are at Blade Show. Is yes. that right, Ryan? We're at the Cobb Galleria down here in Atlanta, Georgia. And Blade Show, if you don't know, is like the biggest knife convention <laughs> in the world, basically. And we're here. It took us a little bit to get in because uh, we apparently didn't have wristbands, so we got wristbands. It opened at 11. It's now noon. I also bought hats already because I don't have a problem. <laughs> Let's go see Tim Roller. Tim Rowland's booth. Uh, Tim is a local knife maker to us from the uh, coming Gainesville area. And uh, he specializes in Japanese style kitchen knives, but he also makes a plethora of other knives. One of my favorite ones that you see here on the table is his fighter, uh, which he also made uh, a custom one for me, which we have at the shop. Tim, yes. tell our viewers a little bit about so when you got into knife making how you got into knife making okay so some of that backstory is on our podcast yes go find out we did Check a podcast, out our together. podcast for sure a kind of basic background i was a chef for over 20 years right so my heart lies with my kitchen knives specializing in the japanese style i just love something that is functional looks good and makes cooking a little bit more joyful right a about seven years ago, I got into doing my own blades. The reason why I started making my own blades, though, was because of this show, Blade Show. From 2010 to 2015, I was one of the chefs of the Renaissance Waverly right next door. I had a blade maker here come up, see some of the handles that I was already making for pre-made Japanese knives, and he brought me a bar of steel and kind of just told me, nut up or shut up, you make beautiful handles, why don't you try to make the whole knife? Yeah. So it's just personal challenge that I wasn't going to back down from, and it just spiraled from there. And here we are, you have all these different style knives, yeah. many of your own patterns. Probably have about 45 total patterns. Uh, I'm constantly evolving them. I design everything on paper. Then I go to CAD programming, and then I make a template for it. I do not use anybody else's patterns. I'm inspired by other people's shapes, and then I develop them for what I like to use, what feels comfortable in my hand, and it has to be purpose-driven, um, not just look good. And it's not going to function. I have no desire to make it whatsoever. Um, so on a bush crafting knife, I'm looking for something that is comfortable in the hands, um, it has enough spine, 90 degrees on the spine, so you can actually straighten fire steel with it, and strong enough to still do platonic with, so it's got a convex end. Yeah. Right. Awesome, Tim. Well, yeah. appreciate your time. Good luck appreciate at the show. Appreciate it. Nice Don't forget to uh, follow Tim on Instagram, Roland Cutlery, uh, and your website is RolandCutlery.com. Perfect. And if you guys are here at the show, come by the booth. Give me a follow and tag me in an Instagram post and you'll automatically be entered to win that night. Awesome. Good deal. Thanks, Tim. Right around here is usually where uh, J2 Customs yeah. sets up. And I'd like to go see if he's oh, got hey, anything. Oh, hey! Boy, Crimson Scale. Okay. <laughs> I, love, I love the immediate guy. <laughs> What's up, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely grab some stickers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. Thank Appreciate you. Awesome. Doing all right, man? Yeah, yeah. How are awesome. You guys doing? Good, good. Yeah, we're uh, you know just doing our rounds, making yeah, a little YouTube yeah, video. Starting to form. And I was starting to freak out at first. I like it. It looks cool. It's I like cool it. It turned out really cool. But then, like, some of these others, for whatever reason, because this, this, all these were done at the same time, none of them turned out as cool as that one. So huh. that one got the stabilized girl. Nice. Yeah, it's really. It feels really nice that people are kind of. Right with it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a ninja, so I don't do it. But yeah. Oh yeah, the reverse grip. Yeah. yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend These like I are know really what nice. to do with it like that. Check yeah. out Crimson <laughs> Scale Forge. Um, we uh, we've laser engraved some of his knives at the shop and uh, put his logo on them. This is absolutely beautiful. It feels so good in the hand too. Thank you guys. Yeah, man. We'll have that. Press the M mode button and then you can get it back. 
trying to find, he usually has a sign. Want to get a beer? Yeah, I get a fucking beer. I should have I should have bought one of those guys that guy's backpack over there. I totally did not bring a backpack. Hey, brother. Yes. Let me get a uh, Yingling, please. What do you want? All right, we're like. I like the massive clubs. <laughs> oh, they have the Gladius. Oh, the sweet baby. What's up, brother? Doing all right? Yeah. Good to see you. How you been? Good. 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 My buddy Ryan was looking for you earlier. Who? This is um, oh, okay. apple juice. One to clap. <laughs> okay. How's it going, man? I'm good. I tried to call you a few months ago. Oh, I'm really? I'm way out. Yeah, that's right. You said it was right outside of Chattanooga or about an hour. Mid journey. I've got a. That's awesome. Oh my god, oh, okay. that's awesome. That's super cool. It's a satchel, not a purse, okay? It's obviously a purse. It's a purse. My stylish? <laughs> oh, we're making fun of Nathan's man purse? It's a satchel. Um, this is a tactical side bag. <laughs> that's what I'd say about this game. But you are gay. So. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's uh, about 1.30, <laughs> and we just finished eating lunch. Devin was complaining that his tummy was grumbling, so we went and got well, some Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the Lord's food, and we had to get some. Yeah. But we, uh, we've been having a lot of fun, and I don't know if we Running into a lot of friends, too. We've, we've ran into a lot of our friends that have seen us here, and Blaze Show has over, like, 200, 300, like there's a hundreds of vendors that are here with so many cool stuff and we've had people come up and come say hey to us. So it's a super cool experience, but we're not even done. We only saw half the show floor. So now we're gonna go back to the other half. Yes, <laughs> and we're gonna head over to CRKT and uh, check out our friend Courtney. Yeah, so let's go. Wow. Whatever that is, it's dope. Oh, wow. <laughs> You gotta be real careful putting that away. <laughs> Some of these are really nice. Monument. Yeah, you've gotta be careful putting this away. Yeah. You have to go from the inside. Nice. Whoa, dude. That's cool. That is the Ritual Compact. We carry the full-size Ritual in the shop, um, but the Compact is Damascus and uh, looks like some kind of G10 scale. Man, that's really pretty. That is really cool. It's a limited edition. Okay, so CRKT has a new knife called the Padawan. We, uh, we don't need to let uh, a Skywalker near this because we know the track history. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? But it's a cool knife. If anyone knows me, I'm a Star Wars nerd. So, yeah. This thing looks dope. I don't think you're ever going to be able to sell it. That's the only thing. If you'd like to talk about it, I'd be happy to chat about it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I've got Bryce from CRKT here, and he's showing off the uh, Haren. Yeah. Is the pronunciation for Haren, it? Yeah. That thing looks dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. That's the first thing I saw whenever I walked over and I saw the new lineup of everything. I saw that one in the Ritual Compact with the cool design on it. So what was, what what went into this guy? Because this is yeah. super cool. <laughs> this is really cool about this one. This is actually uh, designed by Duhara. Okay. Uh, oh, out of Japan. Designer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's the son of Koji Hara, who's one of the more famous Japanese knife makers in the last 20-30 uh, years. So he's really taken over for him, and he's got obviously a very sci-fi design. That's, that's what caught my eye. I'm a huge sci-fi nerd. I mean, everyone knows this. But 
I like how it's, it's channeled out, it's windowed, it, so it lightens down on the frame with the build out with everything. Yeah. And then the window on the blade, it's more of that dagger style shape, yeah. which I thought was just really, really cool. It just, it really caught my eye. <laughs> well, it's a fun time now. Knives are like, you don't, it's not a completely utilitarian tool. You can have like a fun right. knife that's meant to show off. And when this thing comes out of your pocket with the Damascus on the blade and all the mill titanium, the way I just love the, how it like, when it's closed, but like the, the hole really kind of complements the other features. It does. And, and that was one thing too. So it's titanium based for the frame. It's yeah. really light. It's not, you wouldn't think it's heavy. It looks like a bigger knife, but it's not heavy. Yeah. That's super cool. Exactly. I, I love it. I love kind of the outside. I mean, CRKT in general will take a risk on stuff. Right. Which I think is super fun. And one of the art pieces, something more like this, is just so cool. And, and really bringing up uh, attention to Duhara, who's... Right. I mean, all of these obviously have designers behind them. That's what we do. But, you know, getting to get them out there and get a little bit more attention, that's cool. That's super cool. The other one that I saw that I really thought was dope was... Help me with the pronunciation. The file? Feel. Feel. I mean, like... <laughs> you were close. The feel. That one's got like a really nice sleek design, kind of urban ergonomic, because it's got that swell on the back end. Yep. What, what, what kind of went into this guy? So it's interesting here, this is brand new. We're just launching them at the show. New designer for us with Princeton Wong. He's a really interesting designer. I'd encourage everyone to go check him out on Instagram to see his work. But he took, he had a friend come over and he wanted to merge one of his high-end knives with a wine key. Oh, wow, okay. So he took obviously the high-end knives, the beautiful lines, but hidden in the back here, open up this section that's so cool it's got a corkscrew we got the corkscrew <laughs> and this little lever which hides it will actually work as kind of a stepper or a boot to help you kind of pry right. the wine bottle out of there but a really cool little hidden feature and when it's closed you really almost can't tell it's no there. you can't really see it i had no idea that was a feature with it that is super super cool fun fun cut flipper really smooth opener overall really lucky to work with all our designers but excited about the new princeton long launch and we've got a couple other knives that are from him but that is super cool really cool Okay, and then one other one I want to pick your brain on. Um, where was it at? You have one that's called the Padawan. Yeah. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Yeah. Can we go over that one? Yep. Okay. Grab it. <laughs> Padawan was also a new designer this year, Pedro Buzetti. He works underneath the Flavio Icoma. Flavio is a legend. And they, some people that's in the knife so industry cool. call him the Jedi. Oh, okay, so that's the correlation. Okay. So he's working underneath him, he's learning all his skills, so he's the Padawan. That's kind of where we keep him. That's really cool. Okay, and I've already made a joke about it. We probably shouldn't let a Skywalker touch this because then that could lead to other things. But I, still, the minimalistic design is, is sleek, it's nice, it's simple. Um, I love the cutout with the channel that it has right there. Um, as far as the frame and the design, is it a titanium frame as well? or it's is it stainless. Stainless, okay. What's beautiful about it is all like the designer custom touches, the way that we like chan like, kind of took the edge off the top here. And yeah, it's kind of poli polished top. I don't know if the camera will be able to see it, but yeah, that I'll polished try to, top. Try to catch the light a little bit. On the top of the blade there is a cool touch. I love the frame lock. Frame lock underneath the scales, recessed in there. The backspacer, we have another model as well, but the backspacer matches the, in, the scales on there. That's really cool. Really beautiful work, and for his first knife, it's been doing really well. We're really excited to see what uh, Pedro can do in the future. Uh, cool to see the next generation. That's awesome, man. Okay, well, I, will, I won't take up more of your time, but those are just some of the ones that caught my eye. Guys, uh, if you haven't already, you know we carry CRKT at the shop, but check them out on their Instagram and their social media pages, because all these guys, I'm guessing, are gonna be on your pages now, because they're launched for Blade Show. So, dude, Bryce, thanks, man. I appreciate it. These are awesome. I'm going to keep playing with knives. So. <laughs>
So we've walked the entire floor. Guys, this is awesome. If you haven't been to Blade Show, you definitely have to go, right? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I mean, let's just list a couple manufacturers, right? Hogue Knives, HK, CRKT, SE. Staccato's here. Microtech. <laughs> you even have Staccato. You even have Nighthawk uh, fire, custom firearms. So there's quite a bit of uh, stuff to see here. We're going to leave you guys with some B-roll. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to go check out some more cool knives. And i got to fill this thing with some more knives too. So. i got a bunch of stickers. I need more hats. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys.